The battle over climate policy heats up as the governor takes his 30 by 30 message on the road. As Steve White reports tonight, he finds a friendly audience in Clay Center as he claims the land grab comes in the fine print. The governor kicking off these town halls in a county where there's already mistrust of the federal government. That whenever the government's here to help you, they're probably not. Serving in local government, L. Wayne Johnson says the federal government owns farm ground worth millions that Clay County doesn't get to tax. That just puts more and more pressure upon our farming community, uh, on all the taxpayers. It's a story folks want to pull up a seat for as they put more chairs out to listen to Governor Pete Ricketts, who says President Biden's goal of conserving 30% of land by 2030 is bad news for Nebraska. These are just bad policies. That's why we've stepped up the program against them. They're bad policies. The governor says he does not believe the feds will seize land or use eminent domain. But he says if they say it's voluntary, you know it's not. That's a big disconnect here. They say one thing, but it doesn't line up with what their stated goal is. The Biden administration has repeatedly said it will use voluntary programs to encourage conservation to meet climate goals. But Rickett says his experience shows the Biden administration leads from the top down, ignoring local leaders. And he says they'll hide details in contracts with farmers. To read the fine print to see if there's any additional requirements on them with regard to protecting habitat. Storm clouds hang over images that call the 30 by 30 plan a land grab. The widely circulated documents come from a group called American Stewards of Liberty. Carl Wolf holds up the initial federal report that says the plan is based on preserving private property rights and paying farmers a fair price for adopting conservation practices. Details he says Ricketts is willfully overlooking. So many people are taken in with what I think is a huge scam on the part of the governor's office. Ricketts dismisses claims the anti-30 by 30 effort is led by a fringe element, saying he's been labeled right wing and clearly has the support of this audience. Egg Secretary Tom Vilsack has said farmers will be rewarded for adopting good practices, but in Clay County, they say there's no price worth it. What do you sell your soul for? Uh, we're great stewards of our land here in Clay County and Nebraska, and I think we don't need a federal intervention. When it comes down to it, Governor Pete Ricketts says he flat out doesn't believe what the Biden administration has been saying. Reporting, I'm Steve White.